What is going on guys, it's Jeff Entertainment back here with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own VPN. Now before I show you how to make your own VPN, I'm going to quickly explain why you'd want to make your own VPN. Now many VPN companies nowadays have a no logging policy, for example NordVPN has this, ExpressVPN has this, most of them have it. But the thing is, this is mostly just a promise, and you're literally just trusting them with their data to not sell it. But the thing is, there really is nothing keeping them from not selling your data. And this was seen with the recent cases against VPN companies who have been selling the data without you knowing, and they've gotten away with it. So to ensure that your data isn't getting tracked and isn't getting sold by these bad VPN companies, you can make your own VPN, which is what I'm going to show you today. Now onto the tutorial. Alright guys, so the first step to making your own VPN is go to a website called Amazon EC2 and click to get started with the EC, Amazon EC2. Now, I already have an AWS account, so it does automatically sign me in, but to access the EC2 dashboard thing, uh, you have to sign up for AWS, which is right here. I'll put a link down to both in the description. All right, so after you sign in or create an AWS account, click services, and I know there's a lot of stuff that comes up here, but scroll down and go to security identity and compliance and click on this IM tab now after you click the IM tab make sure to click users and then add user now on this tab just click or make a username that you would want to name your own VPN so I'm just gonna call mine Jep VPN for example then after you type in the username click programmatic access and then press next after you click next on that click attach existing policies directly and then on the search bar type admin and I know there's a bunch of stuff that comes up here but just click the check box next to the administrator access part just click the one that I show right here and after that you can click next and you can just skip this screen and also skip this screen and after you're done with that press download CS dot CSV now after you're done downloading the CSV file Go to settings, if my PC works, uh, go to settings, and then click update and security. And then after that, click for developers. Now after you go to the developer mode tab, just click on on this, and then press yes on this. After everything installs, you're going to want to go to the control panel, and then press programs. And here you're going to want to click on this little tab right here, turn windows features on or off. Now here you're going to see a bunch of stuff, but scroll down until you see Windows Subsystem for Linux and click the check mark next to it. And then of course press OK. Alright, so after you press OK on that Linux thing, it should be downloading a bunch of stuff and you have to restart your computer. So I did have to stop the recording, but after you download that stuff, go to the Microsoft Store and get this app called Ubuntu. Uh, you're gonna need this for the Linux and to use the VPN and stuff like that So let me press get and it's gonna take a little bit to load of course All right, so after you're done downloading Ubuntu just go on the search bar again and search up Ubuntu So you can launch it and then it's gonna take a few minutes to like install and stuff So you have to wait so after it's done installing it's gonna ask me to enter a new Unix username so I'm just gonna put S in here and you have to put it in all lowercase you can't do any uppercase and after you press enter it's gonna do something and it's gonna ask for a new password now here enter in any password you want so I'm just put my password now while you're typing the password it won't actually look like you're typing anything but you actually are so make sure you just remember what your password is so now I have to retype my password in and then I'm done. Now after you're done with setting up Ubuntu, you have to type in a code which I put under code one in the description below. Now after you're done typing that in, just press enter and it's gonna download a bunch of stuff. And after that's done, you have to again, enter in another code which I put under code two in the description below. Now after you're done typing that code out, just press enter and enter in your password for Ubuntu. And what this is doing is downloading the unzip tool. And after that's done, type in code three which I put in the description below. After you're done typing code three out, just press enter and it's gonna download a bunch of stuff. Actually, it's unzipping the file you previously uploaded on. Now after it's done unzipping that file, type in ls. And after you type in ls and press enter, it should show something called algo master here. 
And if it does, that means you did it right. If it doesn't, it means you did something wrong. And then after that, type in another code, uh, which I'm going to put in the description as code 4. Now the next code you're going to want to type in is under code 4 in the description below, but since it's pretty short, I'm just going to type it out right now. And then click enter. And the, what this does is it puts you in the algo master directory. Now after you're done typing in code 5, just press enter. And what this is doing is downloading a bunch of Python tools which we're going to need while setting up this VPN. Alright, so after you're done doing everything with code 5, you have to enter another code, which I put in the description under code 6. Hey guys, so quick editor's note here. So I did realize that some people might get some problems while doing code 6. So I'm going to put three codes on the screen right now, which you do need to do. And what this is going to do is download more stuff, which you're going to need for code 6. And then you have to type it in and press enter, and then it will just download a bunch of stuff. I already did that since while it's downloading, for some reason, my file corrupted. But anyways, on to code 7. Uh, and now we got to enter another code, which I'll put in the description under code 7. And after you're done typing code 7, of course, press enter. And then you're going to be brought up to this screen. Now here on this screen, you probably want a full screen. So you're probably going to be on the top. Your little typing typing thing will be at the top. But what you're going to do is just press the down arrow until you go to users. And it's probably going to put phone, laptop, and desktop. You're going to delete all of those. And then just enter, you know, what device you're using it with. So like, for example, I'm using it with my desktop. So I'm just going to put desktop. And after that, press Control o to save your changes. And then press Enter. And then press Control x to exit it. Now, again, press CD algo, or sorry, type out CD algo master to make sure you're in it. And then, yep, you're in it. Now, after you're done with that screen, or code 6, you're going to, or sorry, code 7, you're going to type in code 8, which I put in the description below, of course. And it's just going to be dot slash algo. But this is really important because this is going to be the setup of the algo VPN or setting up your own VPN. And then once you press enter, a lot of stuff's going to pop up so you might have to wait a little bit. Now it's going to show up to a screen like this and you're going to want to type 3 since we're using Amazon EC2 for this 4 hour VPN. And then just press enter. And now it's going to ask you a series of questions. So right now it's asking what you want to name your VPN so I'm just going to name it JEP. And then it's going to ask you for cellular on demand if you want to have Mac or iOS users. Um, now, if you're on Mac doing this, you probably want to click yes on this. But since I'm not on Mac, I'm just going to click no. And for this, if you're also on Mac, you probably want to click yes on this. But since I'm not, I'm going to click no. And then for here, you just click no for this. And also click no for this. And also for this. <laughs> Now after you click for no for that, a bunch of stuff is going to load up, which is going to take a little bit. And after all that, it's going to ask you for your AWS access key. And how you access this is go to your search bar and search up CSV. And this CSV file should have been downloaded when we were setting up the Amazon EC2 user. Now you click on it and since I already have the it open, it's just going to show up like this. And this is going to show you your username. Uh, since I don't have a password or anything, uh, nothing for that. Uh, access key ID and secret access key. And also my console login link. So here, you're going to copy paste or like type in the access key that it shows right here. And it doesn't actually show what you type out by the way. So if it does show nothing, um, don't be tripped out or anything. It just isn't showing anything because it wants to hide, you know, your password and everything. Um, and after you type that out, just press enter. And then now it's going to ask you for your AWS secret access key. And this should be right next to the access key ID. Now after you put in the secret access key, you want to just press enter. And now a bunch of stuff is going to load up, so you just need to wait. So now it's going to ask you the number of your desired region. And since I'm in US East, I'm just going to type in 14. 
and once I enter that in, it should load up some stuff. Now, after you enter in your region, it is going to take a while to like actually like set up everything. So you might want to just step away from your computer for a little bit and wait for it to complete. All right, so after all that's done loading, you should be brought up to a screen like this where it says, congratulations, your algo server is now running. And at this point, you probably think, oh, I'm all done finally. But you're actually not done. But at least the hard part is done. Now, after this, you're going to want to go to Chrome and go to this website, which I have right here. Uh, I'm going to put it in the description down below under WireGuard. And you're going to want to click this to download WireGuard. Since I already have it downloaded here, I'm just going to use it. Uh, and then click Import Tunnels from File. Now, from here, since I already have Algo Master in the Quick Select, I could just do that. Uh, you're going to want to go into Configs go to this number file and then go into WireGuard and right here is the most important part you want to click this and then open it now you're going to want to click activate and after you click activate your VPN is officially up and running and to test this all you have to do is go in Google or whatever and click or search up my IP and when I search it up this is very clearly not my IP and it even shows the wrong location uh, because this isn't my location I live in a different state and you can even try booting me in the comments if you want and I won't get booted off uh, but yeah after all that finally your VPN is up and running alright guys so now I'm gonna talk about the pricing for all of this now Amazon EC2 is free for a year but that does come with some limitations which I'm gonna put in the screen right now but you may be wondering what do I do after that for a year so you either have two options first you can make a new account with Amazon EC2 and delete the previous account that you're using for the VPN you just made and then go through this process again. Or you can get DigitalOcean, which is about $5 a month, which is way more reasonable if you don't want to keep going through this process over and over again after each year. All right, so that does conclude my tutorial on how to create your own VPN. Hopefully you found it helpful and ended up creating your own VPN. But if you do have any questions or even recommendations on another tutorial, make sure to put it down in the comments. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and see you guys in the next one.